Good day everyone, Doomwave's back here with a pickup video. This one is ass massive. I think I'm going to have to start um, staggering my pickup videos to monthly like a lot of other people do. Um, and also cut back a little bit, I think. Uh, it's not that I really want to stop collecting, it's just that I've got so much stuff lately that it's just, it's kind of ridiculous. But uh, at the same time, you know, I didn't spend gobs and gobs um, of money because a lot of this stuff um, came in trades. Um, two things came in trade, two sets of things, not two things, two sets of things came in trades, uh, so I didn't actually spend money other than shipping. And then I have just a couple of generic pickups and thrift store items and things like that. Um, and I got some movies and a whole ton of stuff that I bought today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started. Go ahead and start with the movies, I guess. Get them out of the way. Um, there's a couple other movies in uh, the generic pickups, but um, I'll just go ahead and grab those two because uh, it doesn't matter a whole lot. So I'm starting with the movies and uh, then moving on to the games. Um, no music pickups this time, actually, which is weird. But uh, yeah, I didn't pick up any music at all. I don't think. I'm probably forgetting something. Um wouldn't be the first time. But anyway, uh, picked up uh, at the local Dollar General for just two bucks, uh, two ninety five actually, in one of these Treasure Hunt, it's just a loose DVD, um, which I really don't care that much about. I'll just put it in a generic case and maybe I'll print out a cover someday. Um, if not, oh well, it's Iron Man 2. I don't even know if you can see that it's Iron Man 2. Uh, but yeah, that's what it is. And uh, at uh, the... Um, a thrift store, not my hometown thrift store, but a lo another local thrift store. I picked up this movie. It's the only movie in the series that I haven't seen. I've seen the first two, and they are pretty awesome. It's a cult classic series, and uh, it is, of course, uh, the Evil Dead series, and I have never seen The Army of Darkness. So I picked this up for like 50 cents or something like that on VHS. So I'm pretty excited to get to see this finally. Um, next up, just some DVDs uh, that we picked up lately that, uh, I don't know, thought were kind of worth showing off. Um, one of them, um, the top one, I had a lot higher hopes for um, just because I like this, uh, a, couple, a few other movies, a couple other movies that this girl's in. And it's just The House at the End of the Street. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, kind of an up-and-coming actress, you know, and... I really enjoy her in The Hunger Games. I think she did a really good job with that movie. And uh, she's in another really great movie called Winter's Bone. That movie's fantastic. But this one was just really... Ugh, I don't know. I didn't hate it. Uh, but it was just... I don't know. Just weird. I, I, I didn't care for it as much. But uh, oh well. Now this movie is uh, pretty, pretty generic. Pretty much like every other movie in this genre. And uh, when I, when you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. But at the same time, I really enjoyed it. It's The Possession. Um, it, there's nothing, you know, totally unique and, and special about this movie. Um, I don't know. Just uh, just really good. I really liked it. It's a, it's a, they perform a, a Jewish uh, uh, exorcism. I think that's, that's interesting. It came in a slipcover, but I can't get the sticker off the slipcover, so... I'm not going to put it back on there right now. Screw it. Screw it. Okay, next up, movie I was really excited for, and it's a great flick, but it does not live up to the first one. Of course, as a lot of sequels do, it is Taken 2. I love Taken. I have loved it. It's the first time I saw it. It was a great movie. I watch it frequently still, and uh, this one was excellent as well, and I, I can imagine myself watching this one a lot of times too, you know, watching them in succession, you know, one and then the other. But uh, it wasn't as good as the first one. I will be, I will go ahead and say that, you know, granted I'm not a critic, and you know, you don't have to believe me. You can just watch it yourself. But it's still good though. It's worth picking up. Uh, next movie I just saw in theaters not that long ago. My local theater uh, just got this movie in like a month ago, and then it came out on DVD just like last week, and that's Skyfall. I'm not the world's biggest James Bond fan. Um, I enjoy some James Bond. 
Um, but I, I tell you what, the the three so far with Daniel Craig as as James Bond, I love. I love Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace and Skyfall is fantastic. And last DVD here is one that I haven't seen yet. Um, I heard, you know, okay things about it. Um, I plan on watching it soon. Um, I loved the first one, and that's Silent Hill. Of course, kind of gaming related, you know, but I don't know how well the movies follow the games, if at all. Um, but I did really enjoy the first one, and so I went ahead and picked up the second one. Um, yeah, I'm excited to check that out. Okay, now moving on to the, like I said, ass massive load of pickups of games. Uh, seriously, I, I I haven't even counted. There's 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 too many. Um, starting off here. Um, I don't know, somebody might be at my door. Eh, maybe not. Uh, starting off here, I'll just go ahead and get this, uh, this trade out of the way. A uh, good friend of mine on Atari Age, uh, we've been talking back and forth quite a bit. And, uh, you know, he's, he was, he's fallen on some hard times. You know, so he was having to sell a lot of his collections and things like that. And, and I felt really bad for him, you know. And, it's, you know, there wasn't a whole lot I could do. And not, still not a whole lot I can do, but... I uh, I like the guy a lot, and so the you know I just offered to 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 trade some things and then throw some cash his way to uh, pick up some of this stuff. And uh, one of the things I got was a Atari and Atari 7800 system. Very glad to have this. Uh, I don't have the power cord yet. He was said he was going to send that in a second package. Um, along with some other things, because he was still waiting on it. Um, he buys and sells and trades a lot of stuff on Atari Age, and uh, so he just didn't have a power source. Um, at the time that he shipped this package, everyone wanted to go ahead and get it sent out, since he had uh, there were several other things in the package. But this is what I actually bought. This is what I actually purchased, and the games that came with it, and then the other things is what we traded for. So I'll show you the games that came with it. Um, he threw in two Atari 2600 games, and four uh, 7800 games. And he threw in a, a standard um, 2600 joystick, but I don't need to show you that. Um, he threw in Laser Blast for the 2600 and Commando. The label on this is really dirty, but I've, I've noticed a lot of these Commando's um, labels look like that. I don't know, it must be the glue or something that holds the label on. I've looked at on eBay and a lot of these uh, commando carts look like this. So, I mean, it looks dirty, but it's not actually as nasty as it seems. Okay, and then for the 7800, he threw in Pole Position 2, which, you know, I'm not real, you know, I don't really care about Pole Position 2. I actually used to have it, and I, I traded it off, but, uh, yeah, whatever. It's, it's a fun game. It's a fun racing game. But uh, the other three I did want, and it's a uh, Choplifter, for the 7800, Xevious, uh, this one, the, the cart itself is broken. Uh, I think this happened in shipping because the pieces uh, were in the box. So it just it got the corner of it got crushed or something like that. But it, so far, I, it still fits in the system, so I'm pretty sure it still works. The, the card's intact still, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll work still. If not, eh, oh well. And lastly, Joust for the 7800. Very happy to have all of those. So those are the things I actually uh, purchased from him was the the 7800 system and those games, and then we traded uh, some stuff, and I ended up with four Jaguar games that I was really really excited to get. Um, the first one was just kind of a throw in, just because I needed to pick one more, and I wasn't interested in the in uh, the other ones they had available left, um, but Kasumi Ninja was the the throw in one. I don't know, it's kind of a fun uh quirky fighting game. Um it's it's interesting, you know, it's it's a it's a, like a Mortal Kombat clone, you know, with like the fatalities and stuff like that, but uh, the characters are kind of interesting and yeah, whatever. It is what it is. It's it's kind of an interesting game. Uh this one is one of the only shmups for the system. This one and one other one that I got. Um it's called Trevor McFur and the Crescent Galaxy. Um, this is one of those Jaguar games that's like, uh, I, I watched uh, Crow uh, play this one on YouTube, and uh, he couldn't figure it out at first uh, what was missing from the game, but there's no music. Uh, so while you're playing, you know, while you're shooting the spaceship, it's a side-scrolling shoot-em-up, and there's no music playing at all. Um, but it's fun, kind of hard, but it, it's fun. 
but you know I'm not that good at video games anyway, so all of them are kind of hard. Uh, next up is two games that I was super stoked to get. These were actually the ones that I really wanted, um, and these two kind of, with with a few exceptions, kind of round out the the absolute necessities to my personal Jaguar collection. Um, there's a few, there's a few others that I, I really like to get, but these two really put a big dent in it, and that's Raiden uh, for the Jaguar. Very very happy to have that. It's a great port of the game too. It's very fun. And uh, Wolfenstein 3D, probably my favorite console port of Wolfenstein thus far. Um, the label kind of sucks, but luckily it's just kind of in the corner, so it didn't really cut off much. You know, it didn't cut off any of the name, which is fine. I can tell that it was probably a uh, like a, a store sticker or something that they put on there stupidly um, that ruined the label, but. Eh, whatever. It's it's interesting though because uh, I bought my Wolfenstein 3D for the Super Nintendo off of Amazon, so I couldn't see a picture before I bought it. And then when I got it, the top label of the Super Nintendo game was was half missing. Luckily, still not cutting off the name of the game, but the top label was half missing. So I thought it was interesting that my other cartridge port of the game also had label damage. So those are the things that I knew I was getting from him, and then he threw in this for free, um, just because um, he knew I was looking for it and he had it, and you know apparently didn't want it. Uh, he threw in a copy of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles for the GameCube. I uh, I'm very excited to have this. I've never played it before. I still have, I put it in uh, to see if it would work, and uh, it's still in my GameCube actually, but I have not even started it. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid to start another RPG. Um, because who knows when I'll get that done, you know. I, I have no idea. Okay, that's all from him. His name is Vintage Breed on Atari Age. If you were a member of Atari Age, go check it out. He's got a lot of Jaguar stuff for sale. He did have a CD unit for sale, but I think he sold that. But I know he's got tons of other games for sale, uh, Jaguar games, uh, loose and boxed. So if you're interested, I could put you in touch with him. Um, okay, next up, I'll get go ahead and get get out of the way um, the other trade that I did. Um, this one I just did last week, and I, I sent this person, another person from Atari Age, um, some games and a strategy guide, and uh, they sent me these things. First off, an NES Max controller. Very, very excited to have that. So now I can cheat when I play shoot 'em ups and uh, use the turbo buttons. The only thing I don't like about this controller is the control pad. It's got this little slider thing, and then but when you slide, you actually still have to press uh, down. Uh, you know the the control whichever control um, that you want. You actually so you really you could just skip the slider and just you know press up and down and left and right like that. But uh, I don't know. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Uh, but I could get used to it. I think. And I really like how small it is. I don't, I don't know. It's it's interesting, and I like the the grips, of course. But yeah, NES Max controller, and uh, got a copy of Dracula's Curse, Castlevania Three. Very excited to have that. It's my first Castlevania game. I'm very stoked. Um, yeah, it's uh, I have I tried it out a little bit. It's pretty fun. Uh, I haven't played it for very long yet. So. Uh, this one I'm kind of bummed about. Um, I'm going to have to get rid of this one, actually, because I can't read Japanese. I did not know that this was a Japanese um, game. I know that there's an English version of it, and uh, I almost bought it today. Uh, I got this package in the mail today, and I tried this out, and everything's in Japanese, and I can't read it. It is, I think it's pronounced Dissidia Final Fantasy. Um, from what I understand, it's like a Final Fantasy fighting game. Um... I tell you what, the opening cutscene of this game gave me chills. It looked awesome, and I was so happy, like, to to be able to even see that. And I hoped that uh, I could play the game and you know not really need to read a whole lot, but I couldn't tell what was going on because there is a story, and uh, yeah, everything's in Japanese, so I mean I can't <laughs> I can't play it. So if you're interested in this, I don't know. Give me a PM or something. I might have to get rid of it and get an English version. Which is a bummer, of course. Uh, next up, game I tried out this morning, and I think I'm going to like it a lot. It's Dead Island for the Xbox 360. Um, 
it's uh, not what I expected actually. I didn't look into this a whole lot. Um, it's more like, uh, of course, like a survival horror, you know, and also, I don't know, it's a little bit like from what I've seen of like Far Cry 3, um, in that you have to kind of scavenge, uh, for items and things and, and, uh, your weapons, uh, I picked the melee character, um, and your weapons, the more you use them or even the more you swing them, they lose, you know, their durability, and so you have to chuck them and then, you know, get a new one. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't, I didn't play for very long. And uh, I, I think that they really w want this game to be played co-op. Um, because if you're connected to Xbox Live, um, every time somebody is, like, in the same area as you, you can, like, join them and uh, play the game co-op, which I thought was cool. It pops up a little... Uh, thing bar on the side you know it says you know so and so and so you know gamer tag is in this area you know would you like to join them co-op you know and i don't know it's it's weird it, but it uh it's a cool zombie game you know there's lots of those but uh i like it and lastly in that trade i did pick up fantasy star zero for the ds my very small ds collection grows by one um I haven't tried this game out yet. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, from what I've seen and from what I've heard is that it's uh, more of a throwback to uh, the older um, Fantasy Star games and as opposed to like the Fantasy Star Portable and the Fantasy Star Online and stuff like that. I've heard that it's um, you know, more of a throwback to the older kind and that's what I would like. Um, so, not that I wouldn't like the other ones, but I, I do know that I like uh, the classics. Okay, now, on to just the generic pickups. Uh, first off, uh, some p stuff I picked up at uh, my local, uh, the Pack Rat, and uh, another thrift store pickup. I picked up a few uh, NES sports games that I don't want. I just picked them up because they were 75 cents. And I threw them up on my trade thread on Atari Age, you know, because there's lots of people that buy those, you know, trade for those sports games because they're trying to fill up, fill in holes in their collections. So I figured, what the heck, you know, it does, you know, it's not a real big cost, you know, and and I was I was in there already, you know, I bought the Army of Darkness VHS and then this game, and so I said, what the heck? So I just grabbed them. Uh, one of them's like Magic Johnson, Fast Break, Bandai Golf, and Roger Clemens Baseball. You know, I don't, I don't want any of them. Uh, but tucked in, uh, two of the games came with the the, the plastic uh, uh, NES sleeves, and one of them with a manual. And then it also had tucked in there the manual for the original uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I thought was weird. It's got glue all over the front of it. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but I also picked up, and uh, it was stuck inside of a a uh, NFL Blitz uh, jewel case, but it is 007 The World Is Not Enough for the PlayStation. I tried this out a little bit. It seems alright. Um, as soon as I can get used to the controls, uh, seems like it would be an okay game. Um, haven't played many of the James Bond games. Uh, that's the only one I own, but I've played a couple others off and on. I've played uh, like GoldenEye, so I mean, I know, base, you know the basic premise on how, you know, games in that, the, the Bond games in that era, you know, kind of work. Okay, <clears throat> then I picked up two 360 games and one original Xbox game that was supposed to be originally a, another 360 game. I picked up Army of Two uh, for the 360, got it home, put it in, didn't work. So I took it back and exchanged it and got Soul Calibur Two. This is a game I've been playing a lot lately, actually. Um, I'm kind of far, I think. I don't know, I'm a ways in, and I've uh, been playing quite a bit, kind of rekindled um, some uh, fighting game love for me. Uh, I really kind of forgot that I enjoyed fighting games, um, but uh, it's not my favorite genre. It's probably my fourth favorite genre, genre if I really had to say, uh, but I really enjoy Soul Calibur 2. Uh, next up, I picked up uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. I uh, put this in for a little bit just to see if it would work. Seems like it's going to be an awesome game. I don't care for the Batman games that just follow the movies uh, to a T. So, like, I played uh, a bit of uh, Batman Begins, the original Xbox. I just hated it. 
because it was just like playing out the movie and I didn't care for it. Uh, but I think that the Arkham games are uh, quite a bit better. Um, I've heard good things about this game and I've heard lots of good things about Arkham City, so I'll probably be picking that up sometime too. And lastly here, a game that I don't know if I'll ever play again. <laughs> oh man, this game. I put it in and played for about two hours, was having a really great time. It was fun. I was getting a ton of achievements because you get a lot of achievements in the beginning of the game uh, for mastering the moves. That's Ninja Gaiden 2 for the Xbox 360. And when you get to the first boss, holy crap, I can't beat that guy. I've tried so many times and I finally just rage quit. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll play it again. I don't know. I, I got pretty, pretty bitter. At, after trying that battle so many times. But it's still a fun game. Ninja Gaiden 2 for the Xbox 360. Okay, now today's ass massive load of games. Um, I don't even know where to start. Well, okay, there's one more generic pickup, sorry. I did pick up Cybernator uh, for the uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, the wife won a uh, $15 Amazon gift card and, you know, didn't really want it, you know, for anything in specific. So I was like, hey, I'll just buy a game. So... You know, this was like 12 bucks on Amazon. It's a very awesome game. I want to give a shout out to my friend Z Red Gems uh, for uh, showing this game. He did a let's play of this game, and uh, or a long play, actually not really a let's play, long play of this game, and it looked awesome. It's a mech shooter, you know, and it's it's just awesome. It's 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 a very fun game. Check it out. Watch some YouTube footage. Watch Z Red Gems YouTube footage because he's extremely good at this game. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel and to the video. Okay, now to today's pickups. Um, I don't even know where to start, so I'm just going to go ahead and just go. Um, I picked up. Uh, I didn't notice at first that it was a demo disc, you know, and I almost got burned and I almost put it back, but I was like, you know what? Maybe I will just try this game before I actually buy it um, because who knows I may not like it. Um, and that and it was two bucks and it's Front Mission Four uh, for the PlayStation Two. It is just a demo disc, but I will try it out and you know just to see if I'll even enjoy the game. Um, yeah, so I, that's what I did. Okay, now um, just I guess we'll just go oldest to newest or something like that. Uh, picked up four. Atari games, three for the 2600 and one for the 7800. Picked up uh, Star Master, Spider Fighter, and Saxon. Very happy to find this one. And the label's in great shape. The other one that I found, the label was in horrible shape, so I'm glad that I found that one. And uh, the, the lone 7800 game was one of the better 7800 games, Robotron 2084. Very happy to have that. NES, I picked up four games. Picked up Xevious. And one, I, didn't, I don't know anything about this, but uh, the label looked cool and it was cheap. So I picked up Vindicators, Tangent Card. And I picked up Alpha Mission. And Gyrus. Can you tell I'm in a shoot 'em up mode? I picked up one. Oh no, here's another NES game. Picked up five NES games. Picked up Air Fortress, another shoot 'em up. Okay, and uh, picked up uh, one uh, Sega Master System game. Finally, uh, picked up another one of these bad boys, and it is an RPG, so I'm very excited. It's not complete, it's cart only, and the case is in horrible shape, but it is Miracle Warriors. Hear really great things about this. Very excited to play it. And for the Super Nintendo, I picked up, uh, I can't pronounce it and I'm going to botch it, but I think it's called Draken. Um, I hear pretty good things about this, and it was only five bucks, so I picked it up. And for the Game Boy Advance, uh, very excited to have this. I saw it, and the price was right. I was like, ugh, I'm buying it. Fantasy Star Collection for the Game Boy Advance. I'm pretty sure this is Fantasy Star 1, 2, and 3. I don't think 4 is on here. Um, but for like 7 bucks for 3 Fantasy Star games, I think so. Yeah. Um, next, I picked up Quake 3 Revolution for the PlayStation 2. Finally, I'm going to try this out. And I have a feeling that I'm going to enjoy it more than I enjoy 
uh, Quake 3 Arena for the Dreamcast. I think they're, I've heard that they're pretty much the same game, but I think I'm going to like playing it on a PS2 controller better uh, than playing it on a Dreamcast controller. I don't know what it is. I just, first person shooters, I just, I don't know. Dreamcast, I don't know. <laughs> okay, next uh, for the uh, PSP, picked up R Type Command. Stoked to have this one. Shmup for the PSP. I think so. It is complete. I don't know if Quake 3 is complete. I didn't. That was a really nice catch. You didn't see that, but it happened. Now, Quake 3 is just this. Bummer. Um, this one I picked up primarily because it was only like $2. Um, but I've seen in other videos um, that it, it looks like an okay game. It was only 2 bucks for the Wii. I picked up Mad World with GameStop stickers on it. So you can't tell that it's Mad World, but it is Mad World. I've heard good things about it, and like I said, 2 bucks for a Wii game, and my Wii collection is sad. And next up, two 360 games. Lastly here, two 360 games. Uh, picked up um, Wolfenstein for the 360. Love the Wolfenstein series. Love me some id. And, uh, yeah, I, I almost picked up... Uh, uh, I can't even remember. It's like Return to Capital, Castle Wolfenstein, Tides of War, something like that for the PlayStation 2 also. And that would have been nice, but I didn't. And this one is just cart only. Or cart only. Uh, disc only, but that's alright. Because I really don't care about manuals. I don't even know why I'm showing you whether or not they're in there. Uh, next up is a Square Enix RPG that I know nothing about, really. But I, th I think I've heard people talk about it. It is complete. And... Uh, it's uh, Infinite Undiscovery. Um, yeah, I really, I really can't remember if I had heard that people like this one or not. <laughs> but uh, I figure, well, it's a Square Enix game, and it's an RPG, and it was... I can't remember how much this one was. Not too much. Under 10 bucks, I know that. Um, so I just picked it up. And actually, I lied to you, I do have one more pickup here. I'm very excited to have this. And... My vintage stock, you know, I, I asked the guy why this was so cheap. He said they really don't buy strategy guides that much, to, you know, just because they don't sell very well, surprisingly. Uh, buys and uh, used ones. This is a used strategy guide. And uh, I just couldn't pass it up. It's only It was only 2 bucks, And he said that they do tend to buy uh, the more popular RPG ones because he knows they will sell. And I did pick up the strategy guide for Lost Odyssey for the Xbox 360 uh, for just 2 bucks. So, yeah, I just picked up this game not that long ago. And uh, I will be quite a bit more likely to play it now that I have the strategy guide. Because uh, I like playing with strategy guides. So, that's it. That's my February ass massive pickup. Thanks for watching. I don't think I have anything else. I hope not. Good grief. That was, that was enough, wasn't it? I mean... Dang. Dang. Alright. That's all I have for you. Uh, I didn't pick up any books or anything or any music this month. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll try to wait until next month, maybe the end of March ish, to do another one of these pickup videos. And who knows? Maybe it'll be smaller. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Doing Waves out.